I'm Evan Curd, founder of Hitchfire. Uh, I'm John Griffith, and I'm the number one salesman at Hitchfire. So, uh, folks, let me introduce you to the Forge 15 by Hitchfire. Uh, Forge 15 is named for the 15,000 BTUs that our uh, dual high output burners provide. When you, uh, after you take it out of the box and you mount it, there's a swing arm right here that goes into your, uh, your hitch receiver, your two inch hitch receiver, which is pretty standard. Uh, and then you have your grill that sets right up on top here like this. After you drive to the destination you want to cook at, it's really simple to deploy. You take out this locking pin, set that in place, pull the slam latch down, rotate the swing arm out. Assuming you want to cook over here in your camp, you'd set it right there. Open the latch for the top of the grill, flip out your side tables, and there you go. You'll uh, insert two, it actually will hold two propane bottles, the sort of one pound uh, green bottles that everybody's so familiar with. Uh, you fire it up, and you've got about 355 square inches of grilling space up there. You can have, with the dual zones, you can have something hotter over here uh, for searing, and you can have something a little lower temperature over here for baking or or slower cooking. Uh, it comes with an integrated bottle opener because we all know that after you get to camp after a couple hours, nobody can find the bottle opener and you start using your, you know, your lighter or your shoe or something else. So we've got that right there. It can't go anywhere. And that's the uh, Forge 15. It does have a tubular frame. It is removable from this, so it is also applicable for tabletop use. The idea for Hitchfire came about um, at Outdoor Retailer uh, last year. So we were walking around, we had just done the outdoor retailer event. Um, we were there with Thule, our first year there with Thule in their booth and um, knowing that the acquisition was complete and my transition was sort of uh, underway, I was starting to think what I was gonna do next. And wandered around the floors of OR for hours, looking at every product, every brand. Um, a lot of copycats, a lot of different things that were out there that there were seven, eight, nine different people in one space. And it was sort of disturbing. I was like, there's nothing new. I mean, when we first went to ORs to Pui, the great thing was we were the only rooftop tent company there. We went in 2015, even though we were in one of the pavilions way out on the side, we were incredibly popular because nobody had seen a rooftop tent. And I was looking for that idea there. Um, somebody else who might've been doing it, but just something like that. And I didn't find anything really unique. So in looking at some stuff, I started seeing hitch-based accessories were nowhere to be found. And perhaps they were more automotive-centric and they might have been at a SEMA or some other trade show. It felt that there was a lot of opportunity in the outdoor space for hitch-based accessories that were sort of lifestyle-oriented. So just kind of chewing on that for a little while, mulling that over and doing some market research, uh, it, it really appeared that there was very little out there. There's very little out there in the you know, cooking space, but you know, we have a lot of other products built up behind this that we want to roll out that sort of complement that sort of lifestyle hitch-based accessory market that we want to go after. I think too, you know, when you, when you build a brand uh, and then sell it, there's a certain level of sadness that you really created something, okay, not just the product, but the vibe, the feeling, the events we went to, the relationships and friends we made, and we kind of felt like, guy, we don't want to leave that behind. This has been really fun in the outdoor and overland space. And um, so let's try to bring something relevant to that market that's not out there. And, and um, uh, I think that was part of it too, just the emotional side of it. Well, one thing that you know we're doing right out of the gate is, you know, we do have a product, it's a grill. And one thing that's unique about Hitchfire and the Forge 15, which is our first grill, um, that we didn't have with Tapui tents was a rooftop tent was a challenge for some people to get their head around. It was a tent, it was on top of a car. Um, you really had to get people together to see it, to try it, to climb the ladder. With a, a grill, everybody understands a grill. Most people have a grill either in their backyard or whatever. And now we're kind of attaching it to the hitch. And we're not saying that it's about the grill. What we're saying is it's adventure grilling. It's, it's really what we're trying to do is teach people that yes, you all know how to grill a hot dog or a hamburger or your tri-tip, but what we really want to do is show you how to do that in a place that you never thought you would go. Some sort of aspirational you know, mountaintop or view over a lake in some remote area. That, that's where I think um, by allowing or inspiring people to do that, uh, we give the most. 
you know, and that, that's going to be, a, I think, a core part of where we're going with the brand and all our accessories coming up. Yeah, and I think if you're experienced with camping and you do have a little hibachi or some kind of grill, well, you put it away in your car and your sleeping bag or things that rub up against it, it's become oily and grimy. So we are solving a problem in terms of let's take that out of the car and it belongs on the, on the hitch. And uh, for people that have that experience, I think they'll, they'll feel like, wow, that, that is something that happened to me and this is a much better answer. So, you know, the, the name Hitchfire, I, I don't want to say that it represents the grill because there will be other accessories, but the idea was to create sort of cooking uh, appliances for the hitch. And in the way we look at it, it's um, sort of redefining life at the hitch, if you will. You know, most people look at their hitch very utilitarian. They're, it's towing a boat, a trailer, you're putting a bike rack on it. Um, you don't give it a second thought, you know, you, you hook it up and, you know, there's a lot of chains and stuff like that and then you pull off. I really think that hitch fire is going to change that perception a little bit. Um, the hitch itself is going to become an area that back of the car uh, is going to become more appealing to hang out because of the accessories and things like that that you're actually going to be able to hook up to your hitch. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, we, we want to improve someone's experience. That was part of the thing with Tapui, where now you could have a Subaru or any car and all of a sudden you're doing some car camping that's comfortable and fun. We, we hope we made a better experience. Same deal with Hitchfire. Evan's kind of saying it's an unknown area of the car or utilitarian. Let's turn it into more part of the camping experience and improve uh, your time out camping. Right. I mean, for me, it has been, it's a part of creating a brand. All right, we've got a product now. We really uh, want to create and grow a brand and, and create and foster a culture the same way we did with Tapui. As, you know, as Evan said, there were other tent manufacturers out there in the last few years, but we felt like we sort of cultivated a great vibe and feeling and people want to be a part of it. And I think uh, in terms of having a team here, that uh, sort of a family, and then making more friends outside the building, it, that's gratifying to me, for sure, I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Building the community was probably the most fun we had uh, while we were building Spooey. And, you know, it gives back so much uh, as you're putting in your, your sweat equity. And I think that we'll do that again, and we'll really enjoy that, and seeing where the brand goes, not just from a product standpoint, but, but watching that community and that brand loyalty and stuff grow as well.